Hi, we're back again, and we have another beautiful young lady today. It's been a very, very happy day, and she's a, a visual artist, and she's going to have to explain that to me. So I want to introduce Jessica Keller. Hi. Hi, Jessica. Nice to meet you. I'm really interested in the visual art. Did you get, tell me a little bit about that? Well, I paint in oil and acrylic paint uh -huh. on canvas uh -huh. or hardboard. And I paint a variety of subjects, uh, uh -huh. landscapes, seascapes, insects. Oh my um, gosh, oh my gosh. structures. Insects, now that's really interesting. What, what brought you to do <laughs> insects? <laughs> I love bugs. Oh, you always do? Have. Oh, I, I, I never always have. have. I never have. <laughs> and um, I, I spent some time, I had a dry spell, I was not painting. Oh. And I took that time instead to dabble in photography. Uh huh. And I just went out to my backyard. And if you look closely, you can find a whole, whole world of bugs. Oh my gosh. And, um, I had a really good camera. Yes. So I could zoom in well, which excited me. That's amazing. And now I love to paint them. Oh my gosh! I would. Did you bring any? Uh, bring any pictures? And I believe there are two. Two. Uh, okay. A grasshopper and a honeybee. Okay, he's gonna put it on. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! How cute! <laughs> I love detail. Now look at work. the colors on them. You wouldn't think that they'd have all those colors in. Pretty. Oh, that's great! Thank you. I, I'm I'm really glad that you're doing that. But how how many people ever pay any attention to poor bugs? I know nobody. You know? I just I've loved them ever since I was a kid. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So, it, did you uh, have a big yard or something that you saw the bugs? Or? Just an average yard, hmm. just your average size yard. I just I love being outside, and mm -hmm. I pay attention to details, which I started to do more when I began to paint. Yeah. Um, pay attention to color and shadows oh and gosh. all the little details of life around you. And that then is I like wonderful. to capture it That's on a wonderful. canvas. Yeah, well, good, because somebody's got to go out and do something for those little bugs. That's right. Uh, they all have a purpose. Mm -hmm. None of them would be here if they didn't have something where they were doing that was good for the world, right? Exactly. Okay. Yes. So tell me, do you drew them in acrylics or what? Uh, uh, the bugs in acrylics, well, right now I am working in acrylics. Oh, um, uh -huh. uh, The bugs I have painted are in acrylic. Oh, neat. And there's a lot and of detail. And how big are the pictures? Um, the honeybee is an 11 by 14. Oh my gosh. And the grasshopper is 12 by 24 inches. Oh, they're really, you can really see what that bug is. Oh, how, yes. how neat. Yes. And uh, what other uh, medias do you work in? Just oil and acrylic. I've dabbled in pastels and watercolor, mm -hmm. but I just love oil and acrylic. I love the paint. And yeah, I'm doing some things now, and in, in, uh, I I used to do some, uh, some paintings. I'd get them started, I'd get the first coat on, and then it took so long to dry that by then I'm I've lost interest in it. So I got a a lot of half paintings, oh. just one, just one painting, one layer, never have been finished. But uh, now they have things that you can put in the paint and it makes mm -hmm. them really dry fast. So I'm back into oils. <laughs> good, good. I'm, I miss oils. Um, I, I do have the patience, but that's usually because I'm working on maybe seven or eight paintings at a time. <gasps> oh my so gosh. So I can jump around. You're kidding. I, I, I think I lose interest as well. Uh -huh. in a particular painting and I just I have to start a new one I have to instead of working in greens and, and uh -huh. plants I uh -huh. have to work on a structure now I it's well, just that's understandable that's understandable around. yeah yeah I'm I'm starting a series based on the nursing home that my mother's in oh and it's there will be no faces 
Oh. But instead, it'll be little bits of a resident. It's like maybe there's one resident, and the wheel of her wheelchair is decorated in flowers. Oh, amazing. So that'll, that's a painting I'm working on. I love and that. Just little bits like that. Yeah. And just... each painting will have the resident's name. It'll just be their name. Oh, my god. But I gosh. am working on a series. So you work, you work where? Well, no, my mother is Oh, in your a, mother. Yeah, your my mom's here, in a nursing yeah, home, mother. which is, I also teach an art class there once a week. Oh, you to do? To the residents. That's great. And I, they love it, that. Keeping them busy is so important. Yes. I think that's wonderful. Yes. So, and your, is your mother taking any lessons or just? She doesn't have the patience. Oh, okay. She likes to sit and watch. Um, <laughs> or she makes her own rounds. Okay, now tell me, how can pe are you selling these paint uh, paintings or? Yes, um, mm -hmm. I sell on my website uh -huh. and through my Facebook page, and I have an Etsy shop, uh, Etsy.com, oh. and you can find all that stuff, um, all the links on my website, oh. SereneArtistry.com. Yeah, say it very slowly so people can really get it. Serene Artistry. All Serene, one word. Dot SereneArtistry.com. Mm -hmm. You got it? Because <laughs> I know there are people out there, a lot of other people that, that do love bugs too. Yes. I'm sure there were. There was a show, um, see, see, oh, was there something? They were, or they were people who were laboratory people for the police, you know. And the CSI is what they call it. And there was one character, one man that was the, sort of the head of the thing, and he loved bugs. I always, he was talking about them all through the shows, and I always <laughs> have bugs in there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you ever saw that, but. No, was, I didn't. It was funny. Anyway, I want people to, that are interested in bugs to be able to contact you. So what's your website again? Serene. Serene Artistry. SereneArtistry.com. Okay, honey, thank you so much thank for you coming so much. today and, and come again because we want people to get to know you. Thank you so much. Okay, honey, thank you. Okay. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> well, that's it for today. Thank you so much, Ben, and we want to see you next Thursday. Thank you.